friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on air preheater from the chapter boiler accessories let us first understand why this air preheater is used heat carried by the flue gases when coming out from the economizer is used to preheat the air before the supplying to the combustion chamber and it is found that for the 20 degree celsius rise in temperature of air increases the boiler efficiency by 1% so we can say that when we use the air preheater there is the increase in boiler efficiency now first i will read what is the given question in air preheater air is heated from 35 degree celsius where the hot gases enter at 450 degree celsius and leaves at 160 degree celsius the mass flow of gases is 1250 kg per second the air flow rate is 1170 kg per second the gases flow inside the tubes and air flows over the tubes the number of baffles are used to increase the residence time for better heating of the air the gas velocity is limited to 30 meter per second the tubes are of 60 or 65 mm taking overall heat transfer coefficient as 30 watt per meter square degree celsius find out the length and number of tubes used in air heater take cpg is equal to 1.1 kJ per kg degree celsius take specific volume of gas at entry that is vgi is equal to 2.05 m3 per kg lmtd of given flow is equal to lmtd counter multiplied by 1.2 So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given data with the help of diagram. In question, it is mentioned that the gases flow inside the tubes and air flow above the tubes. So we have to show the hot gases are passing through these vertical tubes and air is flowing above the tubes in this way. So both are moving in the opposite direction. So we can say that this flow is the counter flow. now it is given that the temperature of air at the entrance that is tar and it is given 35 degree celsius so we have to mention that so here is the air in so temperature of air at the entrance is 35 degree celsius then temperature of gases at the entrance 450 degree celsius that is tgi that is 450 so we have to mention that tgi is equal to 450 degree celsius then temperature of gases at outlet that is tgo 160 degree celsius so tgo is equal to 160 degree celsius then mass flow rate is given so mass flow rate of gases that is mg 1250 kg per second so i will show here mg is equal to 1250 kg per second and mass flow rate of air is also given so ma is equal to 1170 kg per second so ma is equal to 1170 kg per second then overall heat transfer coefficient so if we observe this overall heat transfer coefficient that is u also i will mention here u o is equal to 30 watt per meter square degree celsius so if we observe this overall heat transfer coefficient the unit is given in watt then specific heat of gases so specific heat that is cpg so g for gases is used so it is not mentioned that particular word that is specific heat but only cpg is given 1.1 kJ per kg degree celsius degree celsius so we have to write here cpg is equal to 1.1 kJ per kg degree celsius next is specific volume of gas at the entrance that is vgi is given 
with a 5 liter cube per kilogram. So we have to also mention this. So specific volume that is this small v g i is equal to 2.05 meter cube per kilogram. Then it is given that LMTD that is log mean temperature difference of this given flow is equal to log mean temperature difference for counter flow multiplied by 1.2. So 1.2 is the correction factor and when we calculate this log mean temperature difference by using the diagram or by using the formula then from that formula we can calculate this LMTD counter and then we have to find out the actual LMTD that is actual log mean temperature difference by multiplying this correction factor. Then Velocity of gas is given 30 meter per second. So this Vg is equal to, so I will mention here, Vg is equal to 30 meter per second. So this is all the given data. So we have written here all this data. And we have to find out the number of tubes. That is how many number of tubes are there. That means we have to find out the small n and we have to find out the length of the tube that is capital L. We will first calculate temperature of air at the outlet that is TAO. So for that we will apply the formula that is the heat transfer between hot gases and air. And that is shown with the no, letter that is capital Q. So what is the formula for this calculation of capital Q? So we can use the formula Mg that is the mass flow rate of gases multiplied by the specific heat of gases into temperature difference. So temperature difference at the entrance and outlet that is Tgi minus Tgo or we can use this formula that is the mass flow rate of air multiplied by the specific heat of air multiplied by the temperature difference. So temperature difference in between this that is Tao minus Tai. Or we can use the formula that is overall heat transfer coefficient multiplied by the surface area of these tubes multiplied by the log mean temperature difference for the counter flow. So first we will use these two formulas and we will calculate this unknown factor that is TAO. Now I will put the value. So what is Mg? Mg that is mass flow rate of gases 1250 multiplied by CPG. So specific heat of gases it is 1.1 multiplied by TGI minus TGO. So TGI 450 minus TGO 160 which is equal to now MA so mass flow rate of air that is 1170 multiplied by CPA so it is not mentioned that is specific heat of air but it is 1 multiplied by TAO minus TAI so TAI is given that is 35 degree Celsius so if we observe all the factors are known only one unknown factor that is TAO so when we calculate this we will get the answer 375.8 degree Celsius. So we will write here that is TAO is equal to 375.8 degree Celsius. Now we will understand how to find out log mean temperature difference for the counter flow with the help of diagram. So here we will draw two lines. First we will plot the temperature of hot gases. So what is the temperature at the entrance or inlet? That is 450 degree Celsius. So this 450 degree Celsius that is TGI. I will plot here. And what is the temperature of at outlet? That is 160 degree Celsius. So here is 450. We have to take the lower point. That is 450 that is 160 degree Celsius. And we will join this. That is here is TGO. So here the heat transfer is taking place from this inlet towards the outlet. outlet. So I will show this arrow. Now again we will show the heat transfer process that is for the air. That is we will plot the air, temperature of air at the inlet and temperature of air at the outlet. Now what is happening here? This air is moving in the opposite direction of the hot gases. So hot gases are moving from the inlet towards outlet and air is moving in the opposite direction from inlet towards the outlet. 
so what is the temperature at inlet for air that is 35 degree celsius so here is 160 degree celsius so i will plot here t a i that is 35 degree celsius that is the lower point and then what is the temperature at outlet so it is 375.8 so we have to take the upward point uh, that is here I will join these two points that is here is T A O so we have to show arrow in the opposite direction now how to calculate the log mean temperature difference so for that we have to calculate theta I and theta O so what is this theta I and theta O so I will mention here from this diagram so this difference is known as theta i and what is theta o so here this difference is known as theta o now we will calculate this so what is theta i so theta i is nothing but tgi minus tao so tgi is 450 minus 375 450 minus 375 that is 75 degrees Celsius and what is theta O so theta O is TGO minus TAI so what is TGO that is 160 minus TAI 35 that is 125 degree Celsius now we will put the value so what is the formula for log mean temperature difference? So this is log mean temperature difference. Actual is equal to log mean temperature difference counter flow multiplied by correction factor 1.2. So I will put here the value. That is theta i 75 minus 125 divided by log to the base e uh, theta i by theta o. That is 75 by 125 multiplied by 1.2 calculated value of log mean temperature difference for counter flow is 225 degree celsius and for the actual flow it is 270 degree celsius now we will calculate the total surface area of these tubes by using the same formula that is the heat transfer between the hot gases and air so we will apply here the formula that is mgcpg tgi minus tgo which is equal to UO that is the overall heat transfer coefficient multiplied by LAS that is the surface area of these tubes multiplied by the LMTD that is log mean temperature difference for the counter flow. Now we will put the value. So what is MG? So it is given 1250 CPG that is specific heat of gas 1.1 TGI minus TGO that is 450 minus 160 which is equal to UO. So UO is 30 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Now we will observe here this is in watt. Then AS that is this is the unknown term what is the surface area of the tubes and LMTD counter. So it is 225 degree Celsius. Now if we observe we will balance these both formulas. So what is the you need for this mg so it is given in kilogram per second so i will write here kilogram per second then what is the unit of cpg that is the specific heat it is given in kilojoule per kilogram degree celsius and what is this temperature difference so it is in degree celsius now if we observe this degree celsius degree celsius is getting cancelled this kilogram kilogram is getting cancelled so what is the unit that is kilojoule per second on the left hand side and what is the unit on the right hand side that is UO is given in watt per meter square degree Celsius so AS so I will uh, also write this that is watt per meter square degree Celsius AS is in meter square and LMTD counter is in degree Celsius so here degree Celsius meter square is getting cancelled and on the right hand side there is unit is watt. Watt that means joule per second and here the unit is kilojoule per second. So we have to balance this. So how to balance this? That is we will convert this kilojoule per second into joule per second. That is the left hand side we have to multiply here into 10 raised to 3. So we have to balance this. So this is most important term. So when we solve this, then we will get this AS, that is when we solve this we will get these numbers. 
then a s is equal to 59.07 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 meter square and this is the surface total surface area of the tubes now we will calculate the n that is the number of tubes now if we observe the question it is given that the hot gases are passing through these tubes so we have to refer here the mass flow rate of the hot gases and then what is the formula so these gases are passing inside the tubes so we have to use the formula that is the mass flow rate of gas through tubes is given by mg which is equal to now we have to use here diameter of the inside this tube so if we observe the question the, the about the tubes it is given that the 60 or 65 that means the minimum diameter or inlet inside diameter is 60 millimeter and outside diameter is given 65 millimeter so here only required diameter is the inside diameter so we have to use the standard unit that is 60 millimeter is equal to 0 0.06 meter so i will put the value so mg is 1250 which is equal to pi by 4 0 0.06 square multiplied by vg by vj so what is this vg so vg is the velocity of gas so it is given that is in the question it is mentioned that is 13 meter per second so we have to use here 13 divided by specific volume of gas at the entrance so vg i that means we have to use the specific volume at the entrance so it is given that 2.05 meter cube per kg so 2.05 and if we write here that is the bracket complete n so we can solve this and we will find out the n value of n that is calculated 69750 now we will apply the formula so what is the total surface area of the tube so how we can define so for this we have to take the perimeter of the tube that is here outside diameter multiplied by pi that is the perimeter of the circle multiplied by this length and multiplied by the number of tubes that is n so we will apply this formula a s is equal to pi outside diameter that is do multiplied by l multiplied by n so here in this formula only one unknown term that is a so we will plot the value of a s surface area 59.07 into 10 raise to 3 which is equal to pi multiplied by outside diameter that is 0 0.065 meter so millimeter we have to convert into meter multiplied by l multiplied by 69715 so when we calculate we will get the length of the tube that is equal to 4 meters